more and more fishermen are becoming familiar with our trap air strike indicator which attaches with the patent pending screw at post which is a screw that has a slit in it you put the line through the slit screw the nut back on and it's attached to the line securely but what I want to show you is the balloon version which comes in a package like this and what that entails are posts and balloons. For those of you who like to use balloons as strike indicators, these posts have a valve in them, one-way check valve, and the balloons are specially made uh, to fit those posts. And the first thing you do is put the balloon on the post by slipping it over the nose and then rolling it up and then over the retaining ridge like that. Stretch it a few times take the nut off and then inflate it again by tugging on it slightly and there's your strike indicator now you can control the size of the strike indicator very easily if you want more air in it you can blow it up as big as you like and if you want to take air out uh, just grab a stick or something off the ground like this and push into the valves and let the amount of air out that you'd like. So that looks like a pretty good size right there. Then to attach it to the line, it's just like our other strike indicators. You place the nut or the screw or the line through the slit in the screw and then you screw the strike indicator onto well, crumb. <laughs> onto the post like that and tighten it. And the nice thing about these, as with the other indicators, aside from being able to control the size of your uh, indicator, it's easy to move on the line by turning it off a half turn or so. You can slide the indicator anywhere you like on your line very easily, tighten it back up, and you're, you're good to go. So it's a perfect strike indicator for, uh, for our one size fits all. You can control the size by adding or releasing air. So it's great for trout fishing all the way up to steelhead fishing, or whatever type of water you want. And it's adjustable on the line in terms of the distance from your fly. And it doesn't kink the line um, or cause any damage uh, whatsoever.